What it do, fam? It's the day off, so you know what I'm saying? Gotta capitalize. Gotta capitalize. Gotta make some things happen. Uh, anyways, um, you know what time it is. It's time to get up and get it. Trying to get that bread. Trying to get that cheddar. Trying to get that cheese. Kill me! Anyways, gotta get all situated. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Anyways, so... Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the red pill philosophy and basically the teachings of it and how to apply it to your life. Feel me, hold up. There you go. I don't know if that even did anything, but fuck it. Anyways, so uh, let's get into it. So basically like in simple terms, you know, the red pill is pretty much just like the uncut truth. You know what I'm saying? No bullshit, no cap. You know what I'm saying? No hidden fucking fees. None of that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No viewer discretion is devised. Nah, it's everything, bro. It's it's everything. No condom. It's raw. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's everything. So basically, um, what does that mean? So let's just say like we're talking about fucking people or the way the world is. So the world is fucked up. <laughs> That's a open statement. You know what I mean? And it's completely true. You know what I'm saying? But most people will say, no, no, the world is a good place. You know, it's just, you know, um, there's just a couple of bad apples and this, this and that. Nah, it's pretty fucked up. And there's been Holocaust, slaveries, genocides, <laughs> and it's still going on to this day in other countries that we don't know about. But, you know, we live in America, so we feel hella blessed and we don't really get to see what the world really is for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Even a nigga like me who came up from the struggle, I'm still extremely blessed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I got family in Africa who's living way worse than I am. Or I ever have. You know what I'm saying? So, something to take into account. But, anyways, that's besides the fact. Another thing would be... Um, bro, I don't even want to mention it, but it's like, I gotta say it. But this is such a small sliver of it. Because this is where people get it mixed up. Like, female nature is a super small bit. But for a lot of men, <laughs> like that shit is detrimental, bro. Facts. All females are hoes. And I know that sounds like a fucking strong ass statement, but it's the reality, bro. Because at the end of the day, like that's the an equivalent to that is just like saying all people are fucked up. That's true. Like everybody has evil in them. You know what I'm saying? Like they have the capacity to be hoes. Every last single female has the capacity to be hoes. That's why I say all women are hoes. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand what I'm saying. It's just like saying, oh, everybody in the NBA can shoot threes. That's 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 true. Everybody has the ability to pull up from the fucking three point line. Doesn't matter if you're a center, power forward, small forward or a point guard. Everybody has the ability to do this at the three point line. Am I wrong? <laughs> but you're not going to see niggas like JaVale McGee. You know what I'm saying? Or fucking um, DeAndre Jordan doing that shit all the time. If you get if you get what do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Seriously. You know what I'm saying? It, that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? You can take it or leave it because like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to over I'm on this channel. I'm trying to get people to understand like what reality really is in a, in a broad scheme term. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not flowers and pixies, but most people are still stuck in the blue pill to where they think that like things are a certain way because of how they've been taught or for what the media portrays it to be. But that's not how it is, dog. <laughs> it's not how it is. But anyways, enough about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to the lighter shit, bro. We need to, we need to, let's spice it up. You know what I'm saying? Let me throw some shit at y'all. But anyways, um, let's talk about, I'm going to talk about one more point on like how the red pill is. You know what I mean? Um, can be used. At the end of the day, uh, I know for me, because, like, I'm just a regular worker, like, in a corporate world, like, I could get fired at any time. You know what I'm saying? That's the red pill truth. I could get fired at any time for any type of reason. They don't have to give a, a logical reason. They could just be like, ah, oh, we don't need you anymore. It's happened to me plenty of times. <laughs> Niggas just hating. Ah, I don't fuck with this kid. Uh, yeah, we don't, we, we don't really, uh, uh, see that value in you that we saw from the first day. Like, nigga, what the fuck? 
<laughs> bro, that's some bullshit a bitch would say. Like, what the fuck are you? Oh, we don't see we don't see that that same light in you, that same drive that you used to have. And sorry, but we're gonna have to let you go. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? That's why I'm trying. That's why I'm on YouTube because I'm trying to build my own shit. I'm trying to be my own fucking boss because I realized that over time that like, bro, like, yeah, obviously, like, I'm young and I'm working these like mediocre fucking jobs. But at the end of the day, like what? It's going to be the same dynamic if I try to go to a nine to five. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the same fucking bullshit. Like, they can let me go at any fucking moment. They can just be like, oh, oh all right. Nah, you know, fuck this kid. Oh, I don't really fuck with him. Uh, let's 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 hurry up and make a um, valid excuse so that way you know when corporate sees it then you know we'll we'll be all right. Does that sound good, Jim? Yeah, yeah, it does, Bob. Thank you. All right, you know what I mean? Boom, nigga, you gone. <laughs> you lost. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like is it? And that's not fucking something to fucking joke around about. Even though I'm laughing because it's like, bro, think about how many people who have families that this happened to. And that's some real shit, bro. You got kids. You know what I'm saying? A wife. Um, like fucking people to take care of. You know what I'm saying? And niggas, like, can fucking fuck your life up like that? Like, think about how much power these, like, corporate bosses have. Like, CEOs and shit. That shit is fucked up, man. That shit, like, nah, bro. That's why you gotta be your own boss. So, anyways, let's get to it. So, how do you apply the red pill? How do you apply it? You know what I'm saying? Simple. Um, basically... You just navigate through it. You know what I'm saying? You're swimming in a giant ocean full of sharks. I hope you understand that. And to become a shark, you have to learn how to eat niggas. <laughs> That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's big boy pond, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'll give an example. So when we're talking about the corporate world, like I just said, try to build up your own side hustle or develop a skill that you can make marketable to the, you know, the audience of the world. You know what I'm saying? Whether that's through YouTube, um, telemarketing, you know, entrepreneurship, you know, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? And then another tip. Uh, let's just go to another one. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, I had to talk about a female nature. You just understand that, bro, it's just your time. <laughs> She's not yours. It's just your time. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, she can come and go whenever she fucking wants to. But at the end of the day, that shouldn't change who you are or, or who you view yourself to be. You know what I'm saying? And then the last point would just be, man, like, just understand, like, that there's a lot of things in life that are going to come at your way and that are going to try to knock you off your path. But you shouldn't let that get to your head. You know what I'm saying? That's how you apply the red pill. You see all the bullshit, you're aware of it, and you analyze it. And then you navigate through it. You know what I'm saying? How else are you supposed to get through this world without a navigation? The navigation is the red pill. And with that being said, gentlemen, I have to take care of business. Y'all stay up. Feel me? Ah!